Yeah, 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 Dose. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Small, compact motorhome, just under six metres. Now this is an Ultra Trail XL 600. Let's put the hook up in. And why would it? There's your waist. And then we have the um, cassette toilet. Now it's 3,300 kilograms. It's a 2.2, so it is a chain, not a cam belt. Access from underneath um, the seat. Well, there won't be seats because I'll show you in a minute what it is. Um, we've also got um, a filler there for a fresh water. And then here, the gas on. That's the gas. For anybody about gas, red bottles, propane, blue bottle is butane. I find propane better. In winter time, propane has a freezing rate of minus 45, where blue bottle butane has a freezing rate of minus five. So it does struggle, butane does, in the winter. And then we've got a diesel. Now let's have a look at this little four booth. It's a four booth with four belted seats and it's a little bit different. So as you can see at the back, we've got bunks. There are two bunks there. And then it's even managed to fit in. Look at that, separate shower. And then your toilet. And it is six meters, so it's gonna be compact as well. So we have our sink, three burner, three-way fridge, and then we've also got a grill, an oven, and then let's move to the front. So I'll, so I'll just show you this as well while we're here. There's our on-off, and then that's for a pump. Auxiliary is for outside awning light, and then we've got leisure, vehicle, and then we've got fresh water, and then also our wastewater. So I've switched it on, we've got some lights on. Now if we have a look, we've got swivel seats, so if we have a look here, what we've got is a nice little dinette area. Now this will make up to a bed. And as I said before, this has got two traveling seats. So if you've got the kids in the back, this easily comes out um, for them to sit when you're traveling. And then um, this area here does make up to a bed. So this drops out and then it makes up. It isn't a big bed. Um, for an adult, probably one, but probably for two small kids, it's perfect. But then again, you've also got the bunks as well. We do have the skylight above, and then we've got all the cupboards all the way around. Just in this cupboard here, behind the driver, I'll just show you the power supply. There's our charger, so it's charging the leisure battery up. Obviously, if I switch it off, it won't. And then obviously, if we take the U-cup out, it won't charge. We have a 12 volt fuses there, and then we have our 230. See there, I've just tripped it. So then what we'll do, we'll prime up, we'll get the pump on. If you can just hear the pump going. And there you go, the pump's off. Um, we'll put the gas on. There we go, we've got the gas coming through now on the hobs. So we've got the gas coming through. And then we've got the fridge, three-way fridge. So there's the gas, and if you just do it, that's lit. We have also got 230, and then we have got 12 volts. 12 volts is not working because the engine's not started, basically. And then there's our temperature, which we can turn. And then what we've got here, I'll just show you. This is a Webasto heating system, basically. So what we've got here, off for off, now, this is our summer settings. So we have 40 degrees and 60 degrees, uh, sorry, 70 degrees hot water. This is for heating only. And then this is for heating and hot water. Um, and that's our temperature. So if we just want um, the hot water on, we can set it to one of these two. If we want the heating only on, we can set it to there. And then heating and hot water, um, that's obviously gonna do both. To drain down the water system, we, we turn the lead, turn the knob, 
down to there, just hold it till it flashes and then it automatically dumps out um, the water from the hot water. So leisure battery, leisure battery, I know, leisure battery. There's, let me just take this off so you can see. So if you can just see down there, there's our leisure battery. And then just above it, we have a solar controller. So there is a solar on the van, just keeping the batteries topped up. I'm a water pump, a sure flow water pump, which works off pressure. Underneath the bunk here, if you can just see that there, that's our water, water pump. And then just to the side, what you can see there, when you fill up your fresh water tank, obviously the water goes down into that pipe and then into the tank below the van. Fit for toilet, quite simple as a toilet. Press the button, sends the water around, and then we have the lever below, which just opens and closes. So there's the fresh water drain off. After draining down the fresh water tank, and I think I told you earlier on, there's our waste for the waste tank. Bike rack on the back. Oh, it's Trail XL. Um, four berth, four belted seats. We've got the bunks, which is a little bit different, especially in a compact van. We've got a nice dinette here, which is a good size for all four of you. But great van um, for a young family, um, for a small family. Ultra Trail XL. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these.